Sleigh Ride Holiday. Uh, this song is based again on the new time signature, 6 8th. 6 8th. 6 8th, it's, um, we call it a, a compound meter or a compound time signature. Uh, compound means it combines in itself a simple time signature. So we just studied 3 8th time signature. For the 6 8th, you just need to add the second 3 8th into the same measure. So if you look at the first rhythm pattern um, example, you have 6 8 here, and then you have those 3 8 plus 3 8 and they are all in that one measure. So now you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But again, it's the same concept. You have 6 beats in the measure, and the 8th note gets 1 beat. So think uh, of 6 8 as a combination of 3 8 plus 3 8 and that's going to be in one measure. Again, do remember that this note, the eighth note, is actually a one beat note. So when you have a quarter note, it's a two beat note now. Now when you have a dotted quarter, it's a three beat note. And when you have the dotted half note, it's a six beats. Uh, you have to wait it for six beats, right? It's a six beat note. And the same thing you need to remember about the rests. On eighth rest, one beat, quarter rest, two beats, dotted quarter rest, three beats, and a whole rest, six beats. Right, let's try a sleigh ride holiday. Your left hand starts in the C chord, and right hand starts on the G note. So technically, it's kind of like an E position, but your right hand is going to be moving. So let's try it slowly. Remember about six beats. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now let's try one more time from the very beginning. We're going to speed it up a little bit. It says brisky, and an eighth note equals to, um, to 200 beats. So you can set a metronome and feel how it goes. Um, I'm going to still play it a little bit under the tempo, okay? But you can experiment when you learn the song and see if you can play it at 200, okay? For eighth note. So one, two, three, four, five, six.